Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to get your logo from Illustrator into Photoshop to be used inside your business card document. Now, notice I have opened the business card template.psd, and this is a standard size for a business card, although it's not the end all be all of business cards. You can change the orientation of it, you could rotate it, it doesn't even have to be this shape. So you have options, uh, this is just one of them. I also have some guides to help me keep things from going too far out just in case they get cut off by the printer. I'm going to jump over to Illustrator where I have my logo and I'm going to go ahead and just highlight that logo and I'm going to control C to copy it and then I'm going to go over to Photoshop and I'm going to paste it. When I paste it, you end up with an option. You can paste as a smart object, pixels, path, or shape layer. Now what I want you to see is what these different things do. Okay, uh, let's start with path. A path is just going to put down the path. So I just see the lines that originally made up my image. And notice these lines are infinitely thin. So they don't even have uh, coloring on them. And there's also some extra ones for different pieces. I'm going to go ahead and step backward by doing a control alt z and then I'm going to try again edit paste and this time I'm going to do a shape layer when I do shape layer I want you to notice what color is down here because the color that's down here is the one that ends up coloring the image so whatever color I uh, have down here is the color of that one layer and it becomes a layer mask or a vector mask on a solid layer I'm going to go ahead and control alt z and we're going to do it again edit paste this time I'm going to choose a pixels and when I go to pixels it actually looks pretty good when you do a pixels you'll have to check the box and then you'll have your layer uh, the layer is exactly what it is it's it's pixels you have rasterized your document now for a poster or something large uh, that would be a no-no. You wouldn't want to go to pixels because you'd lose that benefit of having the high resolution uh, of a vector graphic. So something this small, it probably doesn't matter because this is a business card. It fits in your hand. But I do want you to understand that normally it wouldn't be the best move. I'm going to go ahead and step backward one more time. And I'm going to do it again. Edit paste. This time I'm getting a smart object. I'm going to click OK. Now, Smart Object is the default because it's a really good way to place it. Uh, it ends up uh, placing a, the entire Illustrator document within uh, Photoshop. So you see that it's got this little icon in the corner of the layer's thumbnail. And what it's telling you is that this is a, a Smart Object. The entire document is hidden inside this document. This would be a good way to work because then you can... Uh, size your document. You can make it smaller. For example, I'm going to control T and make it s smaller here and then I'm going to make it smaller and then I'm going to click enter. And you know, normally if you did that and then you went back and said, you know what, I want to make it big again, control T, that would be uh, bad or look bad when we got done. But in this case, it still looks fantastic no matter what size I make it. So use a smart object. I do want to show you another way of getting the document in. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that layer. And you can do a file place. And when you do a place, I'm going to go to my resources folder and find that logo. Let's see. It should be, I want to say it's uh, this one here. We'll go ahead and get that one. And I'm going to tell it to place. And the same thing happens. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and check the box to say, hey, I'm ready to go. I could always resize it later. I'm going to control T it. And we'll hold down shift and alt, make it smaller. And so there we go. This is still the original Illustrator document hidden with, within our project. Now, one of the things that you want to do is maintain this smart object situation as long as you can. Now there'll be some limitations to what you can do. For example, you can't do all your filters. Some of them just won't be available to you, like liquify, vanishing point. It's not there because that's not available to you. Also, you can't erase this. You can mask it, but you can't erase it. So 
honestly, we don't use erasing very often, but it it's something that you need to look for. So watch this. If I go to try and erase this document, I'm going to go click, um, make it a little smaller here, and I try to erase. First of all, my mouse clued me in to begin with, it's saying a no symbol. But then it says here, the smart object must be rasterized before proceeding. Edit contents will no longer be available. You want to rasterize the smart object? And most people, especially students, they just go in and click OK. And when they do that, that's going to ruin their document. It's going to take it out of being a smart object and make it rasterized. Well, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to control Z. And I want to make sure that if you ever click on something and you end up with this horrible message, don't just click OK. Make sure you cancel it and read what it actually says. It says, could not use the eraser because the smart object is not directly editable. No big deal. Because if we want to edit it, we can hide parts, erase parts, by adding a mask. You can add a mask, click on the brush, make it black. You can paint right through it if you want. Oh, I'm in color dodge mode. Let's make it normal. Make it big again. There we go. And I'll just erase part of it on the mask. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. The next thing I wanted to show you is if you wanted to edit the original contents of the uh, document, what you want to do is right click on it and say edit contents. This will take you back into uh, whatever program originally created the file, like Illustrator. So I'm going to click edit contents. And I'm going to click OK. And back inside Illustrator, I could make a change. Let's say I wanted to change the color of something. I'm going to go ahead and just click inside here and get all the way into, uh, let's see, maybe I'll take this shading off here, right? Let's we'll delete that and go back out. And you see that brightened up the corners of my design, right? So now when I save that, file, save, and then I return to Photoshop, and back in Photoshop, notice that the corners there are now light again. So whatever changes you make in the original document, as long as you save it, it'll then end up going back into the, the document. Now, I do want to make you understand that it creates a new copy of the document that's embedded each time. So uh, I could still go back and open up this original file in Illustrator and it would look like it did originally. Um, but anyway, it's just a little thing about smart objects. We'll learn more about that in a later chapter. Anyway, good luck with this and your new business card.